what have we learned about depression? We have learned that the treatments that emphasize skill building do better than the treatments that do not. The treatments that require the client to be active in the treatment process do better than the treatments that don't. Mm -hmm. the, the treatments that emphasize present and future orientation do better than the treatments that emphasize a past orientation. Mm -hmm. And so the, the treatments that get more and more into the subjectivity of the person's experience in general don't do as well. Emotionally expressive treatments are valuable to a point, but there's the, 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 there, there's a dividing line. It's it's the same way that we would want to live life in moderation. Uh -huh. You know that, that that going into the past is valuable to a certain extent. Going into the future is valuable, but only to a certain extent. Anal analyzing your feelings is valuable, but only to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. There's a there's a danger in thinking too much, as we've learned from the rumination literature. Mm -hmm. There's a danger in not thinking enough. So the, the, er, everything is potentially valuable. The real artistry, the real skill in therapy is knowing what approaches are going to be best for a given individual. And in that respect, there's no formula. That f for one individual, it might be spending more time exploring the past than they have previously done. For another individual, it's going to be pulling the person out of focusing on the past and starting to think about what they're going to do next. For one person who wouldn't know a feeling if it bit them in the tush, emotion uh -huh. focus, focus therapy is going to be a really good thing. Doing cognitive therapy with Mr. Okay. Spock is irrelevant. So, you know, so he, he gets the value of logic. 